Hey guys! Okay, so today I'm going to do a video that I've been wanting to do since the beginning of this semester. And it is a video on how, tips on how to get through college. And the reason I'm doing this is because a lot of my viewers are in high school and some of the girls have been asking me, like, how do I survive college? I'm really um, wondering, like, the different atmosphere and how people are going to like me and act. And I'm just going to give you some tips and hopefully when you enter college or if you are in college and you're struggling through it, then maybe this will help, but I'm no expert, but we will see. Okay, the first thing that I think is really, really important is that you get a flexible job. And the reason I say this is because if you have a job where you work like 30 hours a week and you also have to go to classes, that's not going to be very good because you have 12 hours of class and then you have to go to work and where are you going to study in between there. So just be sure that the job that you have um, allows you to study and also go to work. Like my job, sometimes I'll be like, I want 18 hours this week or I can have a little more hours that week that I'm off or of school and stuff like that. And I'm not going to say where I work, but it is international. I just don't want to give any more away than I need to. Um, but the company is really good about being good with school schedules because we have a lot of college kids and high schoolers there so just be sure that you get a flexible job when you're entering college because you don't want to be really stressed out especially if it's your first semester of college. The second thing that I um, really recommend is that you have plenty of pins on you, plenty of pencils, and always always a highlighter because in high school they always say that you need these things but then you get into classes and you just want to get out of them because I've been through high school and I know how you guys feel you just want to get out of there and don't even care anymore because if you're seniors you have senioritis and but in college I turned a new leaf when I got into college and um, I just always 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 carry a highlighter with me and teachers in class they hint what is going to be on the test in their notes or in the book so you always want to have a highlighter for that and you always always want to take notes with either pencil or pen some professors actually prefer that you write in pen and I've never had a professor in my life say that you have to write in cursive because I remember in like middle school and elementary school they're like cursive is gonna be a big thing in college well it's not all you do is like maybe sign your name in places, but that's it. The third thing I recommend kind of goes along with the pens, pencils, and highlighters, and that's take notes. And basically, take notes like you've never taken notes before, because some of these classes are going to be like hour and a half, and you'll just sit there, and all this is going to be is either PowerPoints, or they're going to be talking, and you're just going to be writing and writing and writing. Some kids in my classes, I don't know if they're new, I don't know if they just have a really good photographic memory, but they don't take notes at all and I'm kind of looking at them like, what are you going to do when we have this like three chapter test and you have nothing in front of you to go over? Because even though you have the book, there's so much that the professors add on that's not in the book. So that's just a hint. Just always be sure you have a notebook in front of you. Like I have my um, five star one. It's kind of fun looking and I am only in three classes this semester and I have like three separate sections and folders in here so um, I can like be organized and put my papers in the folders for the certain classes. The fourth thing I recommend is to always have an iPod or some sort of mp3 player or music handy because when you're um, walking around campus and you like you have to go from one end of the school to the other it's going to be really boring if you don't have music with you because even though you might know some people on your campus you're not going to know everybody like you did in the halls in high school like oh hey oh hey but I mean you might know a few people and you'll just nod and wave but I really really recommend that you have an iPod or mp3 player and headphones that block out noise because it actually makes you walk faster and not think about going all the way over to the other camp or other 
building that you have to go to so I really recommend that but don't just buy an expensive iPod to do that it's just what I do the fifth thing I recommend is to be at least 15 minutes early to every class now sometimes I mean life happens just as all professors say and you might be a little late to some classes but I try to make it a goal to be in my seat 15 minutes before and in high school I would never ever do this at all but now I do that to just get settled in and sometimes the professor does um, make a few tiny announcements before the entire class gets in there like I have a class of um, 85 and like half of us will be in there and she'll just start talking but not teach if that makes sense but I just try to be 15 minutes early I have been late to class before but it's just a lot less stressful when you're sitting in your seat and ready to go with a pencil in your hand and then when they start the notes you're just there and you're not running in your seat running to your seat and like trying to throw all your stuff down and everybody's looking at you so that's another thing I suggest. The sixth thing I have is try not to stress and over like studying and tests and stuff and just study when you can like if you if you say it's impossible for you to study like you have to go to school you have to go to work and then you need some sleep just don't study that night but just try to lay a time down to study and when you get in college your friends understand because they're in the same exact situation where they have work they have activities they have um, to study like for big tests so in high school I mean not a lot of people study a lot like I wasn't one of those people that studied at all in high school but in college you really need to study and you really need um, to stick your nose in a book because it's just really important to get that material in your brain and you don't want to cram it in the night before and another thing that I suggest is like if you're staying up late and you're like freaking out that you're staying up so late and you're gonna wake up tired well, it's better to stay up later and be studying for the test that's the next day than to just, you know, go to sleep, not look at it, freak out in the morning. I mean, you will be a little tired when you get to that test, but just don't make it a habit to um, sleep like at like 3 a.m. every night, but that will happen in college. You will go to bed a lot, lot later than in high school, but that's just life, and I've done that a few times, actually a lot and I have gotten through with um, a 3.0 so I'm just really excited about that but don't stress out if you're staying up late or if you have this big test because it'll just make you do worse. Number seven is my last tip and that is to be open to people that you weren't in high school. Now what I mean by this is that some people may talk to you in college that you never ever thought that you would become friends with or meet but it's just that in college it's a different atmosphere and you won't know a ton of people because there's so many kids in the, on the campus um, but people are just gonna be more open because out in the real world they will be well most likely unless you're in like a really high stress job but out in the real world usually people are pretty nice and just open up to people and don't be afraid if some um, random person starts talking to you for example, like the other day I was walking to my car after my geology class and um, this kid kind of like was next to me like not saying anything and I had my iPod in so I didn't know that he was talking to me at first so I felt kind of bad but he goes, hey you're in my geology class right? And I'm like, yep. And he's like, what do you think about it? And so we had like this little conversation while I was walking to my car which was really nice. So just don't be afraid to open up and um, talk to people. I actually met one of my good friends, her name is Ellen, and I met her at um, my university last year, and we've been friends ever since, so it's really cool just to see the friendships and relationships that you can form in college. So those are my seven little tips that I suggest um, you will do great in college if you follow along. I'm, I mean, there's so many more tips that I could give you, but I hope this helps you guys who are either in college and kind of struggling or are in your senior year of high school and you're just uh, ready to get out of there and go to a campus, trust me that college is a lot, lot better than high school because I hated high school so much. I just, I, it's not that I hated the people or everything, I just hated the atmosphere and how like every day you went to class, but I just wish you guys luck in the future and thank you for watching my channel. Thanks, guys. Bye.